Hi, welcome to Android Authority. I'm Mark. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi Direct are two of the most popular means for wirelessly sharing files between two Android devices, but these two wireless protocols need some setting up before you can use them. Enter Samsung's S-Beam app. S-Beam eliminates the hassle of manually setting up a Wi-Fi Direct connection. Instead, Near Field Communication, or NFC, sets up the connection without any need for your intervention. Just tap the two devices, and BAM! Open highway for file transfer through Wi-Fi. This feature is a Samsung exclusive, and even then, not all Samsung phones have this feature. If you have a high-end Samsung device, such as the Galaxy S3 or the Galaxy Note 2, you'll be able to use S-Beam. In this video, I'll show you how to use S-Beam to share various kinds of content. To use S-Beam, you need to activate both the S-Beam feature and the NFC chip on your phone. The good news is that NFC automatically turns on when you also enable S-Beam. So, just go to the Settings page, then open More Settings. Here, you'll find the switches for NFC and S-Beam. Switch S-Beam on, and you'll see that NFC also activates. If NFC is inactive, S-Beam will not work because NFC handles the automatic authentication and pairing between the two devices, so ensure that both are activated. At this point, your device is now actively listening for any other NFC-enabled devices nearby. In case you're wondering, Android Beam is still here. Tap on the NFC item to check whether it's active. S-Beam is not a replacement for Android Beam. Rather, it is Samsung's expanded variant of the native Android Beam functionality. Regular Android Beam handles data transfers over a Bluetooth connection, but S-Beam transfers data over a direct Wi-Fi connection resulting in faster transfer speeds. Beaming with S-Beam is extremely easy. In fact, the process is just like beaming via Android Beam. Regardless of the content that you want to beam, the general beaming process is as follows. Open the content to be shared. Tap both devices' backs. Wait for the confirmation sound and vibration. Tap the screen of the sender device to start sending. Separate the devices. Wait a bit. And presto! Content beamed from one device to the other. Yup, it's that easy. So let's demonstrate how easy it is to beam content using S-Beam. Let's try setting a photo, for example. First, open the photo. Then, touch the backs of the two phones. Both will detect each other's presence and will confirm with a short vibration and a sound. You'll see something like this on the sender device. The image won't be beamed until you tap the screen. So, let's tap the screen. Let's take a look at what's going on on the other device's screen. Once beaming begins, the receiving device gets notification of an incoming beam and another notification when the beaming finishes. There, I've successfully shared this image from my Galaxy S3. The process is the same for beaming music. Play the music file to be sent. Put the phones together. Wait for the vibration and sound. Tap to beam. Great! Music file sent to the other phone. What about sending huge files such as HD videos? Let's try it. Open the video file. Tap the phone's backs. Tap to beam. And wonderful! Video beams successfully. Contacts are very easy to beam. Open the contact page. Tap the device's backs. Tap sender's screen to beam. Contact sent. Can you beam apps? You bet! Though this method won't send the app files themselves. Run app. Tap device backs. Tap to beam. There! The other phone launches the apps page on the Google Play Store. Share web pages via S-Beam too. Like sharing apps, this method won't send the web page itself. Instead, only the URL is sent, and the other phone's browser app opens the URL. It's a simple process. Open the web page in the browser, tap the device's backs, tap to beam, and URL sent. YouTube videos can be beamed too. Just like beaming an app, this won't beam the YouTube video file itself. Rather, it will beam the video page and cause the other device to open it in the YouTube app. Open the YouTube video on the sender phone. Back tap. Hear that confirmation sound? Tap to beam. Voila! YouTube will launch on the other phone and will play the video. 
Thanks to NFC and S-Beam, sharing files and content among Samsung phones such as the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2 is much faster. Have you tried using S-Beam? Do you use it frequently? What do you think of the feature? Share your thoughts in the comments. For more Android news, reviews, and guides, check out AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark. Thanks again for watching. And remember, the power of Android is yours.